What's up guys, it's Ben from App Network, and back in 2016, I came across the pinch hold mug. Instead of having a handle like a traditional mug, this is sculpted to look like a rock face and requires the drinker to pinch the hold in a similar way to holding a rock handhold on a crag or indoor climbing wall. I thought it was a really cool concept, so at the time I wrote a blog post about it, which I'll link to below, but unfortunately it went out of stock pretty quickly. Jump forward to a couple of weeks ago, and I noticed that my local climbing shop had it restocked, so I reached out to the guys at MA3T who were kind enough to send us one to take a closer look at. So this is not actually the first time I've taken the pinch hold out of the box. I've been using it as my main drinking mug over the last week or so, and wanted to make this quick video to give you guys my thoughts. It's made in Stoke-on-Trent, which is about a three hour drive from where we're based in the southwest of the UK. And as you can see, it's really good quality. Fully ceramic, with the handhold molded directly into the design of the mug. Some other climbing themed mugs I've seen have an indoor climbing wall hold glued onto a ceramic base instead. I've heard that in some cases, these can become loose if the adhesive is exposed to too much heat, like from a hot drink. So the good thing about the pinch hold is that there's no adhesive and the handhold is actually part of the mug itself. It's actually quite easy to hold, at least when using a standard five finger grip, and I haven't had any problems with the mug slipping or anything like that. But the varied shape of the hold allows you to try out a variety of different grips, some being harder than others. You can use different four, three, and even two finger grips, and because the handhold is asymmetric, holding the mug in your left hand opens up even more options. Though it's still fairly easy enough to grip the mug using a four, five finger grip for left handers. Whether this is just a bit of fun, or whether you can actually increase your grip strength with the pinch hold, is hard to say, but I definitely feel that my fingers are working to hold it, especially when using a harder grip. So for newbie climbers especially, I would say that using this mug is bound to have some benefits that will translate over to climbing. At the very least, it will get you used to the different ways that you can approach and grip a hold, and will probably result in some increased grip strength over time as well. For more experienced climbers, it's just really fun to use, but it might even make a cool way to warm up before practicing on a fingerboard or something. The box does give you a warning not to use this with hot drinks for obvious reasons, but I have been using it to drink hot coffee and tea, and while the handhold does heat up a little bit, you can still drink from it as long as you're careful. But yeah, just bear that warning in mind. So overall, I really like the pinch hold mug, and would definitely recommend it as a gift for both new and experienced climbers alike. It's currently available in a handful of climbing shops across the UK, but Dick's Climbing is also selling it on Amazon for £22.99, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. As far as I can tell, this is also the best place to get one if you're in the US, with the total cost including delivery coming to about $40. I'll keep an eye out though, and if a shop starts selling them directly in the US, I'll add a link to that in the blog post. Anyway, I hope that answers any questions that you might have had about the pinch hold mug, but if I've missed anything, feel free to reach out in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy climbing!